Hey there, are you thinking about getting a battery like the Tesla Powerwall 3 or the Franklin A Power 2, maybe the Enphase 10C for your home? Before you pull that trigger, here are the top five regrets folks have about their battery purchases. I'll show you how to avoid all of them and save yourself a bunch of pain, money, and frustration. And don't forget to wait till the end. I'll reveal one issue which no one really talks about, something that could slash your energy savings if you're not careful. Now, the first big regret that folks have is related to their electric savings after buying a battery. Now, here's a big spoiler alert. In most states in the US, the battery will not save you any money. That's right. Zero electric savings after getting a battery nada zilch in almost most of the states in the US. A battery will only save you money if you live in a state where the utility does not offer net metering. Or if the utility has time of use billing, TOU billing. That is worth repeating. If you have an electrical utility that charges TOU billing, or you live in a state with no net metering, getting a battery is a great idea. California, Arizona, Texas, Hawaii, North Carolina, and West Virginia don't have net metering. And some of these states also have TOU billing. So if you live in any one of these states, a battery is an excellent investment. Your battery will save you a ton of money and will be your new BFF. So what about folks who live in other states? A battery is a great investment for them also, but only as long as they are using the battery as a backup power source, not to save on electricity. Let's, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. Did right? you know that solar panels don't work during a power outage? If you have solar panels and you lose power during a storm, you will not have any power like your neighbors. Solar panels disconnect and shut off automatically when there is a power outage. Yep. That's the sad fact. The sun might be shining brightly, but your panels will be dead during an outage. Now, the only way you have power during an outage is if you have a battery. In that case, you will have power from your battery as well as from your solar panels. Now, a side note, net metering is a policy that gives solar panel owners full credit for solar electricity that they export out to the grid. You have to check out this video for a more in-depth look. Regret number two. My battery does not power everything in the home. Batteries are not like generators. They have a fixed amount of energy stored in them. So if you run your air conditioning, your washing machines, your pool pump, and other power hogs in the home, your battery will eventually run out of juice, maybe even in a few hours. Now, most folks buy one battery with a capacity of 10 to 15 kilowatt hours. But that gives you more than enough energy to run the home's essentials. It'll keep the food fresh in the refrigerator, your beer cold in the freezer, all the lights on, internet will be working, computers, television, Xbox, even run the blower fan on your gas heater. Now, it is possible to power everything in your home with batteries but you will need three or four of them. And batteries are expensive, 12 to 14 grand for each. So when you are doing a battery install, discuss your backup requirements in great detail with your solar salesman. If they don't know enough, walk away. You'll be most unhappy. Regret number three is not planning ahead for the install and ending up with an ugly install and a very angry spouse. A typical solar battery install will have a number of boxes that will need to be installed in your home, both outside and inside. Batteries have controllers, load sub panels, the solar panels will have their own inverters, sub panels, so that's a lot of boxes, disconnect switches, etc. You want to plan it so that you don't have an ugly sub panel right next to your front door or a battery that is under constant threat of annihilation from your teenager's car backing up into it. 
discuss and plan the placement of everything when you're doing an install with your solar sales guy regret number four is not having generator backup now the solar battery is a fantastic source of clean noise pollution free backup power but it might require a little help during extreme long emergency outages those that are spread over a few days or if you make a mistake and you run your air conditioning on battery power for a long time you could end up with a dead battery in those circumstances it's really helpful to have a portable generator which you could run and recharge the battery but for that you have to make sure your solar and battery setup has the ability to connect to a generator now as of the making of this video most batteries offer that but the tesla powerwall 3 does not regret number four is not having black start capability now the solar and battery setup they work like a charm during the daytime because you have access to both solar panels and the battery's power to your disposal so you can pretty much run everything in the home but once it gets dark or it's a stormy day you might have to only rely on the battery and that could sometimes lead to your battery charge dropping down to zero and your battery dying maybe in the middle of the night if that happens and your battery is equipped with black start capability next morning when the sun comes up the solar panels will be able to charge your battery and get it up and running again and you'll be back in business but a lot of batteries cannot be restarted after they go dead. They require a service technician to come and restart them. And best of luck with that in the middle of a weather emergency. So make sure you ask your solar guy if your battery has Black Star capability. And the good news is most of the big battery manufacturers are offering it now. Regret number five is choosing a wrong install partner. Solar panels, storage, the package is complicated. You need to have a knowledgeable partner who has installed them before. Make sure you choose somebody with experience, ask them about their other installations. One of my customers, Ed in North Carolina, has a Franklin battery that we installed, and now he's having trouble because of the poor quality of grid electricity. The electricity frequency shifts are beyond what his battery is supposed to handle and he keeps getting a battery generator set up malfunction. Fortunately, since he worked with me, I was able to connect Ed to Franklin. Franklin has got outstanding service. They came to him. They worked out a solution. It was under warranty, no cost to Ed, and he's up and running and a happy camper today. And let me end with the one massive mistake that could derail your entire battery project and that is not pairing enough solar panels with the battery now solar panels are critical in a battery equation because they have to charge your battery every day only then will you have a fully charged battery available for a full night of peaceful sleep with backup power now your solar panels must produce enough solar electricity even in the winter months to not only power your home but also fully charge your battery. So it's important that you have adequate system capacity. You have adequate number of solar panels up on your roof, not only take care of your home, but also charging your battery. Reach out to me if you want a consultation or a free solar or battery code. I have helped folks go solar around the country. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe till the next time.